Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. Happy Friday. Happy Friday Reads. I wanted to talk to you today about the books that I've finished, what I'm currently reading, how I'm doing in my readathon participation, and just an overall check in and, and hi. So let's start out with just gonna jump right in with the books that I'm currently working on. Um, so one, I've already talked to you about this one a little bit, A Woman of Substance um, by Barbara Taylor Bradford. I'm reading this for March of the Mammoths and I have to admit I've, I put it down after I finished the first section and I haven't picked it back up. Uh, um, so the first part is in the present, which is actually in the 80s. And it's funny because it's very 80s. 80s is my era. And this feels, um, you know, like the woman of substance. She's got her own private jet. And the 80s was, you know, a very flashy, uh, richy, richy feeling time. Um, in our imagination, not for most people, but in our imagination. And uh, this has really captured that feeling. Um, so we're in the present for the first section, and then we go back to 1904 in the next section. And I just, I started reading, I just kind of went, and I just lost my oomph with it. So I, I am planning to get back to this. I probably won't finish it in March, which is okay. The mammoth doesn't have to be finished in March to um, to, to count, and you know me, I don't I don't really care if, if things count or not. I'm just I'm just here for the fun. Um, so this is this is still on the list. I am also reading Toward Zero and Agatha Christie. This is an Inspector Battle book, of which I don't think I have read um, anything with that. Um, inspector yet. I'm trying to think. I it doesn't. He doesn't seem familiar to me. Um, and I'm almost finished with it. I've got about uh, I don't know, fifty pages or so left. So I'll finish this one up today. This is for, of course, March Mystery Madness. And I, you know, I love my Agatha Christie. And then I'm also working on. Martha's Vineyard, Isle of Dreams. Oops, by Susan Branch. There we go. Um, I love this book so much. Um, if you like cozy sort of woman finding herself stories, this is a memoir-ish of her divorce and how she moved to Martha's Vineyard. And she bought a little cottage. I think she, I'm pretty sure she's moved since then. This was back in back in the 80s also. Um, but it's just so, so sweet. I'm reading it a little slowly because I just, I don't want it to end. It's so wonderful. I just love, I love her voice. I love her style. It's, it's fantastic. I highly recommend. So these are the three that I am currently working on. I need to grab something for um, middle grade March because um, I want to have another thing going for middle grade March. And I think um, I've got the Secret 7 that's a tiny little thing. I'm going to, I forgot to grab it, but I think I'm going to pick that one up this weekend and finish that for um, middle grade March. So what I have finished this week is this Mary Roberts Reinhardt, The Man in Lower Ten. Um, this was wonderful. I did a buddy read of this with um, Kevy at Say Kevy, and I love Mary Roberts Reinhardt's style. It's very, the funny thing is, it's kind of interesting to read these at the same time because the style is so different. I love them both, but when I hear that Mary Roberts Reinhardt is is an American Agatha Christie. I'm like, mm, no, she really isn't. Their style is, they're mysteries, but they are where Agatha Christie is, is um, I'm going to say this and not be like classist, but she's a little posh. Her style is, um, you know, it, it, sound, it feels a little 
Burr crust, you know, they're always set in big mansions with servants, and I love that. But um, Mary is much more, I'm not sure that I know enough about Gothic to, to categorize her as Gothic. Um, but her style is very, um, it's juicy and it's messy and it's a little creepy. There's like dark, scary houses. Um, it's like the opposite of posh. And so I really, I loved this. Um, there were a couple of mm, like plot points at the end that I felt didn't wrap up super nicely, which, um, which bumped it down from a five to maybe like a four or 4.5 stars for me, but still definitely loved that. Highly, highly recommend. It's really fun. And I've got a few more of hers. Oh, you can't see. Wait here. Let me show you. Here's my stack of paperbacks. Let's see. I've got um, a couple more right here. I've got the case of Jenny Bryce and the window at the white cat. I've got those um, in paperback, so I'm gonna pick those up sooner rather than later, I think, but you know, you know how my good intentions go. Um, so I finished that. I also finished um, Return to Thresh Green, which um, I don't own, so I read that one on my Kindle. I own all of the Thresh Green series on my Kindle, so, when I'm in the mood for those, I, I usually I usually do end up reading them on my Kindle because I can read them in bed. It's super comfortable. And I don't own the um the physical copy of that yet. So I'm that's one of the few things that collections that I am working on. I would like to have the whole Thresh Green collection at some point. Um, but I do have a story for you, which we'll let's see how we do on time today, but I'm gonna probably end up having to get rid of some books because I'm gonna have to change some bookshelves out. So I'm being very conscious about book buying and keeping right now. So we'll come back to that. Um, so for um, middle grade March, I read A Pinch of Magic, which is a middle grade mystery fantasy um, by Michelle Harrison. I've got my little notebook here, Michelle Harrison. Um, super cute middle grade story about three sisters who stumble across some magic. I love the world building in this. Um, the, the, the islands that they live on are called Lament and what's the other one? I already forgot, but um, they have very like dark names and the sisters cannot leave their location because there's a curse and they have to try and lift the curse. And I, I really enjoy this. It's three sisters. I love sister stories. Um, I love the magic. Some inconsistencies in the magic system, um, which I do tend to be a little fussy about, um, which so that bumped it down a smidge for me in the rating, um, but a really sweet story and I loved it. I think there's another one in the series, so I'll probably pick that one up too because I really did enjoy it. Um, I think that is it. So we did a pinch of magic, return to thrush green, the man, in, yeah, the man in lower ten. That's all I've finished since I talked to you last. Um, so that is it for me. Happy Friday. I've got some plans for the weekend. I'm going to meet um, my friend Sandy at Miss Reads a Lot for uh, lunch. And we're going to do some book. We're going to do some book shopping. I may not buy anything, um, but I love to browse and hang out at our favorite bookstore. So I will be doing that tomorrow. It's going to be a really nice, relaxing weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.